Um, I'm really grateful to everyone for coming out here on such a cold day. Uh, you all look so beautiful. As long as I can remember, since I was a little girl here in Palisade, there's always been a midwinter festival on the first weekend of February. So, you know, we thought, oh, that would be a really great time to have a, an event about the just transition, about what a just future looks like, where we would talk about what got us here, right? Line three is not the first, and unless we do something, it won't be the last extraction project that's targeting communities like this one. You know, the, the histories that brought us here, the, the settlement of this place, uh, violence, colonial violence, settlers like my family were part of displacing uh, Native people from their land. And so we have to address those historical harms in order to get to a future where, uh, where we are protecting water where we're listening to that indigenous leadership. Having public gatherings where we share information and where we get to know each other and build community and, and tell the truth, you know, about where we are. Those are the kinds of things that people around here, some people around here, don't want to happen. Hello, my fellow water protectors. Thank you all for being here today. I'm just thinking that uh, when it's like this super cold, I think it's like 20% more efficient with your solar panels. That's actually true. You know, so what I'm saying is Minnesota is a good day today to make a lot of solar power. That's right, my friend, Black Snail Killer! And we got a Mucka, a patrol, a bear, a patrol force out there helping out. But we are here and we have Makwa here. And Makwa, he's one of, in the Ojibwe language, you know, he's a bear. But he's not just a bear, he's a police force. He's the police force of, uh, for our people. Miigwech, miigwech. Because we can do something better. We can look forward to the future. We don't need to rely on these fossil fuels that are coming through. That's right, Makwa. You know, I look at, uh, say, maybe a year from now, I'm hoping. Maybe we can turn Minnesota into a fossil fuel addiction treatment center. Yeah, we can go back into riding bikes, skateboards, uh, canoeing again, and being able to live back in that life. Uh, Chris and I have a farm about three miles from here on the Willow River, and the way that we are trying to create a just future and uh, transition away from fossil fuels is by engaging in local food production. So everybody understands, I think, that the more food we can produce locally, the healthier our children will be, and the less trucks that have to rumble down the highway burning fossil fuels. So Chris is the uh, lead of the uh, Million Hazelnut Campaign, and uh, the, the hazelnut is a perennial crop that can eventually replace uh, soybeans on the landscape and can produce oil that we might be able to burn in our vehicles. So, two percent shift in our water cycle can solve all of our global warming problems. Water is life. If we change our farming practices to regenerative practices, we can thread this needle, we can make it through this difficult time. It's all about how we feed ourselves and the water. Kayleen is the one who helped to get us this private spot to, to have our gathering today when we were denied our permit. So thank you to Kayleen for that and she's going to say, share a few things. So I need to tell you all that I have lived in this community my whole life. And when I found out that they turned away a public person from having a get together on a public property, I was very disappointed. We come here to send a message. We're peaceful and they all need to start listening to us because we're trying to save their water for them and they're all hiding. So I'm glad you're all here and keep talking about it. Let's go for a walk. People gonna rise like water, gonna shut this pipeline down. I hear the voice of my great granddaughter singing, keep it in the ground. People gonna rise like water, gonna shut this pipeline down. I hear the voice of my great granddaughter singing, keep it in the ground.